Um, I mean, they're a good team. I mean, they have good players, and so they make plays. Um, I think on our end, we just had to <coughs> really focus on keeping our defense tight, pressuring the basketball. Um, really, the entire first half, we didn't do that as well as we did like, and that's why they shot it in such a great clip. You talked about um, putting an emphasis on defense entering this game and then gave up 40 points in the first half, which is the most you guys have given up in the first half this season. So what happened? Was it missed assignments? Was it doing something to kind of set you off there? Um, you know, like I said, they have good players. And, um, you know, they had a good game, game plan. Um, I, like I said before, our defense, we didn't play very good defense. And, uh, you know, we have to hold ourselves to a higher standard in that regard. And I, there's no doubt that we will. But um, give all the credit in the world to George Washington because they came out and executed really well in the first half. Yeah, do they get they throw some different matchups at you going big and going small like put Nick Nick at the five? You just talked about how much their uh, their ability to change matchups go big small. Well, we knew that um, I, I'm not even try to pronounce his name, but we we knew number thirty was going to play the four in their in their, in their system, but I was still going to guard him. Um, but I think matchups were fine. Um, we just had to, you know, really focus on what we, you know, had to do to be successful. And I think that's what we did in the second half. You guys come in with a little bit of a um, height advantage, but then you end up with a pretty close to the rebound, rebounding um, at the end of the day. It's 32. You guys talk about um, kind of what, what happened in the second half. Once. Well, um, I mean, they, they, they did a great job. I mean, um, we knew coming into the game that they wanted the offensive rebound and they were very capable. Uh, I know we looked to last year's game and our coaches talked about it. And they were plus seven um, rebounding in the first half last year. And uh, I mean, that, that, that wasn't any surprise to us. It's just, you know, I guess how it happened. Mark, can you talk about what Coach said at halftime? Um, it was pretty loud enough to be heard in the hallway. What was his message? Uh, basically, his message was we had to defend better. They scored 40 points, like you said. I think they shot about 50% from three or something like that. You know, he just was really intense because ever since the UC game, we've been been a real good defensive team. That's what we've been struggling with in practice lately the past couple of days. So he just was letting us have it and letting us know that we really go out there and practice hard. Well, not practice, excuse me, but go hard out there and defend like we can. Two, there was a point there in the second half. Um, you guys fell down by three after Taylor had a three-point play, and you went on a little bit of a 9-0 run by yourself. Can you just talk about that stretch right there? Yeah, it started off with uh, defense a little bit, so I know we're playing. We're a great team, but I know we um, we could play a lot better when I'm able to be really aggressive and score. So, you know, Dante got a steal and kind of found me in the, on the wing when I was able to hit a shot and start a little run for us. Dante, um, you had six rebounds tonight, and um, you guys as a team had 17 offensive rebounds. Um, they are, came into the game with um, an edge in that, in that category. They're known for their offensive rebounding, but finished with 15. Was that a point of emphasis for tonight's game? Yeah, that's always a point of emphasis for us. Uh, we know if we can hold teams to uh, one shot, um, that, and that, that does wonders for your defense and gives us confidence offensively. <laughs> um, like I said, I mean, it's really good that we have the 15 you know, rebounds, but we, we got to continue to get better, um, especially if we want to do you know, the goals that we have. And that's, that's really what we have to do. We have to get better. Mark, you made a three-pointer with about five minutes left that really changed the tides for you guys. Can you talk about that shot? Uh, honestly, I don't even remember the shot, but... Uh, I just know probably one of my teammates found me in a great spot and I just was able to knock the shot down. Well, can you talk about what you guys were able to do in the last five minutes? I know you made a ton of free throws in 14 or 18, but um, what was it that really gave the edge there? We just, uh, we just executed, you know, as a, as a team. A lot of us have been together for a long time, at least three years, so we got good chemistry and down the stretch. We, we don't have a lot of close games in the centers and in other people's gyms to keep our composure down the stretch, and that's what we did. Dante, their, their two three um, seem to be sometimes giving you guys a little bit of problems with just with getting looks or kickouts and those sort of things. It took a little while to get used to. Can you talk about how their their zone differs from some of the other ones you may have seen this year? Well, they they threw a, a lot of different zones at us, and you know, when, as you're playing, when you're playing, it, it's difficult to kind of you know 
try to you know diagram what they're in, and, and that was one of the things we tried tried not to do coming into the game is, is try to figure out what they're in and just try to you know run what we're running. But I mean they they play really hard. Um, you know their hands are flying and they, they were just they were just very active. And, um, I think for a while that for for a while there it, it, it hurt us a little bit.